Now, the Federal Capital Territory High Court sitting in Buari has dismissed a suit filed by photographer Busola Dakolo against the senior pastor of the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Pastor Biodun Fatoibo. The court also ordered her to pay one million naira for wasting its time. In a suit filed by Busola, wife of musician Timi Dakolo in September, she had accused the pastor of rape adding that the alleged action of the pastor, as well as his denial in a statement, adversely affected her marital sex life. She therefore demanded a personal letter of apology from the cleric to show honest remorse for his misdeeds. Pato Yubo's lawyer, Alex Izion, however, argued that a prayer could not be granted, describing it as a frivolous suit. In his ruling, a Justice Utman Musa held that the matter amounts to injustice and an abuse of judicial process adding that the case is empty and purely sentimental. Justice Musa said that the case was aimed more at cruelty than obtaining justice. The court also awarded cost of one million naira against Busala Dakolo and held that a fine should have been ten times more because the court's time was wasted. Now, Plus TV Africa spoke with convener of NSAR's movement, Shegu Awosanya, via telephone on this issue. This is not actually the substance of the case. This is just uh, the outcome of the preliminary uh, objection that was raised by the other team, by the Fatou Yimbo team. But the only issue here, the only quick thing here that spells and shows and demonstrates foul play is the fact that this is a case that has been, that the files have been missing severally, as reported to us, and as evidenced by what has been put up there already, you know, on the matter. They've They've, they've lost the file severally, but when they have to recall or call back for a photocopy of the whole thing, they, we don't even believe that the court actually looked at the substance of the case. Because the case, based on decided cases, you cannot tell us that something is part of bad when the situation is unchanged. You know, the law is there. This is not just something subject to uh, whims and caprices or sentiment of any individual. You understand? It is something that has been established by law. It has just been long continues the way it has been, no matter how long it has been, that, 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 that the, 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 the people who are bringing up the complaint, you know, uh, the, the issue has happened, you can always raise the complaint because the situation is unchanged and it's continuous. There are petitions out there that show that this guy has not stopped praying on the, on the congregation. So you cannot say it's because something happened a few years ago. In fact, the interesting part of the case is the fact that they are not denying the fact that it happened. They are talking about the fact that it has happened too long ago before the report came. And that is what we are going to challenge. It is actually a learning process. We are engaging culture here and we are redefining something substantial. When we eventually get what we want, it will be an opportunity for a lot of people to come out of their shell and express the wrong that has been done to them. So we're not expecting things to be easy. We understand that the criminal justice system is corrupt. We understand that the criminal justice system is actually porous. But we will not relent, regardless of what the outcome of anything is. We will continue to challenge, we will continue to persevere there until the right thing comes out.